The story of Orlando, as told by Virginia Woolf, is the story of the character Orlando who begins in the Elizabethan era and travels through 600 years um, in pursuit of love and poetry. She starts as a boy of 16, and by the end of the novel, she's a woman of 32. And she's had loves and adventures and has, is ready to become the poet that she's been longing to be. I believe the challenges for 20 something actors taking on this play are many fold. First of all, one of the actors has to play Queen Elizabeth at the end of her life. And he has to, it's played by a man as well. Uh, Nick is playing the Queen. And I, what happens with that means he has to take on not only the gender of the character, but the age of the character, and the kind of desire that comes with that kind of age. It's a different kind of desire than a young person lives in and feels. The challenges for the set and costume designers um, are, I believe, embedded in the romp through time that is the play. Uh, finding a means by which we could actually embody 600 years and, and tell that story, and we found our way to a kind of hybrid of all the eras that could live together. So the set is, is, is almost neutral. We, we, we think of it as like as the blank page that we're gonna tell and write the story on, all the places and things we have to do, and we're doing it all with picture frames. Our, the concept for the piece is just picture frames. Picture frames become absolutely everything. Yes. So one of the actors got stuck in a picture frame. <laughs> So I'm a graduate of the National Theatre School. I was in the 1996 class of the directing program. And so coming in to now work with all the disciplines and put on a show, and put on a show in the Luget, this, is, this, this stage is spectacular. It's one of the most beautiful stages in Canada. So that is a, a great honor and I'm really, really happy to be back doing that.